Hello again and welcome one and all to another episode of Let's Cook. I'm Chef Nabil and we're going to have an amazing recipe for you today, so please stay tuned. It is Ramadan, guys. And today we are going to do one of iconic Ramadan dishes in uh, the Arab world. It's called khatayef, and I'm sure you know of it. But we will show you how to make it at home. It will be much more delicious and very easy to make, so you don't have to go out and buy it. Okay, before we start doing it, I want to start the syrup, okay? So in the pot, I'll have small pot, two cups of sugar, one cup of water. That's it. You don't have to do anything to it at all. Just let it do its thing. Okay, we want to melt the sugar, get everything um, melted, and it will do that by itself. Now, the only thing is, Every once in a while, we'll take a brush with uh, warm water and just go around uh, around the water edge and the pot so it won't crystallize, okay? And it will be much easier to clean as well. So you don't want uh, crystallized uh, syrup. It will take a few minutes, so let it do its thing. Now, let's start with the batter, okay, if you will. We will need two cups and, okay, you know me uh, and my measurements, okay? It's not that precise, but uh, when you do sweets, it's better to be a little bit precise. Okay, so we have two cups of all-purpose flour, okay? And we will add one cup, I already measured this, of semolina. Now, semolina is uh, coarse uh, wheat, or uh, coarse milled wheat. Uh, sometimes if it says uh, semolina rice, you don't want that, okay? Because the name semolina could go to other grains as well, but we want wheat. So that's it, we need one, uh, one tablespoon of uh, powder milk, a little more, won't hurt. And I need a small uh, spoon of yeast and another one of baking powder. That's pretty much it, guys. Except I need another one uh, spoon of sugar. Okay. And why not a pinch of salt? Okay. The smell of uh, burning sugar or boiling sugar is so beautiful. I love it. Now this is done. Uh, I just need uh, to get a whisk to whisk them all together. I'll be right back with you. All right. So we mix all the ingredients together. That's all to it. When, uh, when the syrup is ready, I like to put uh, a couple of tablespoons in with the batter. Okay, it will give the bottom of the uh, khatayef a very nice color. Okay, but it's not ready yet, so when it is ready. I will need to add to this some warm water. Now, it can uh, really, no precise measurement, but you could say three cups. You might need more, you might need less, but we'll start with uh, two cups and we'll see how we are. Okay, so a 
Oh, that's too hot. This will definitely kill the, uh, the yeast. Um, I will uh, put uh, some, temper the water, and I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, we are back, and uh, my syrup is ready. Uh, just reduce the heat on it a little bit, and okay, as you can see, it's boiling. So now, I will just add a squeeze of lemon. Not too much, three, four drops, that's it. Okay, now, let's talk about syrup for a second. This is your basic syrup. You could use it for anything, even uh, Western desserts. Uh, I'll just shut it off. Okay, so for anything, you can uh, flavor it any way you like. If you go Mediterranean, they would like to put some blossom, uh, uh, blossom water. Uh, orange blossom. Uh, if you come to the Gulf area, they like to use rose water and sometimes even saffron or sometimes cardamom, whatever. <coughs> so today I will use a little bit of blossom and rose water mixture just to flavor it. Not too much. Okay. And our syrup is ready. Okay, so let's go with two cups of water for the batter. I know we'll need more, but we'll start with two. And we'll uh, put it in the blender uh, in a little bit. Okay, but I like to get it started uh, in a bowl. All right, so as you could see, I don't know if you could see, but uh, it is uh, thick. That's not how we want it, so we'll add some more water. Okay, I'll go another three quarter cup, there about. I don't know what I have, doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> it really does matter, but whatever. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty good. Okay, uh, I told you that I like to put uh, some uh, some of the uh, syrup with the batter, and there it goes. Okay, now let's. Uh, this is a small blender, uh, so I'll go small quantity. Don't go too much if you have a small blender like this. Otherwise, it's splatter all over. Okay. I actually will have a towel just in case. Uh, this is going to be noisy, guys. I'm sorry. So uh, why don't I do this and I come back to you in a second? Okay. Be right back. All right. So we are back. Uh, our batter is ready. Now, before I do the batter, let's do the stuffing for the chatayim, okay? We'll need uh, walnuts, I have crushed them already. Uh, we'll put a couple of two, three spoons of sugar, depends on the quantity you're making. And we'll put a little bit of uh, nutmeg and cinnamon, okay? So, cinnamon is about a teaspoon. I like it uh, a little cinnamony. Okay, nutmeg is about a quarter teaspoon for this quantity. Now we, not, we need to bind it together, so we'll use uh, rose water. If you want, you can use uh, orange blossom. If you don't, don't. Okay. Mix it all together. And it's ready. Now you could do the same thing, same mix for cheese, okay? You need a sweet cheese. Uh, we call it akawi or uh, nabulsi, or uh, some people like to use mozzarella. 
or even Kiri. Is that a brand name? I don't know. Anyway, cream cheese. It's up to you, you know, uh, whatever makes you happy. Okay. Now, the batter. We will find out in a minute if it is uh, to the thickness that we want, okay? We will test it in a minute. Uh, doing kataif is the same as doing, uh, what you call it, uh, pancakes. The first one you always throw. <laughs> it never works out. Because you need to adjust two things. The, the, uh, the thickness of the batter as well as the heat of your, um, of your uh, griddle. Now I'm using a griddle and I'm using a frying pan. I want to show you both because maybe you don't have a griddle like this. This is actually home grade. It is not uh, commercial grade. Okay, so uh, we need to adjust the temperature. Make sure it is not too hot, not too cold. So let's do a testing, okay? The first one, like I said, is just a test. And the size, it's up to you. And we'll do one here, just make sure it's hot. Okay. You will see it starts bubbling. And the number of the bubbles in it uh, determines how, I mean, I could tell. I don't know if uh, everybody could tell, but uh, the number of the bubbles tells you if it is thick or thin. I think this one is a bit thick, so I need to water it down a little bit. Okay, so let's put some water. Not too much, be careful, because it uh, could... Yeah, it's, it's good now. Uh, I think it's, uh, it will be better. So the, s the temperature on the uh, frying pan, I think it needs to be a little higher, okay, well, it's not making it, I don't know, all right, let's see how we're doing, okay, this, what you want, this is the color, ah, it's hot, uh, <laughs> but this is uh, brilliant, okay, the thickness is a bit thick, but uh, it's actually, it could be all right. Uh, we'll do a couple of more and then we'll move on, okay? Because I, we don't have all day here. Uh, let it uh, cool down. Uh, we, typically, you will need a, a fresh towel, clean towel. Just put it here and put it face down, okay? Otherwise, and don't stack them because uh, when they're hot, they tend to um, uh, stick together, so you will lose all your work, okay? So, uh, this one, the temperature is not right. I'm just showing you because this is what you will be facing, okay? The temperature is not right, so the, uh, I'm not happy with it, so I just raised the temperature. Uh, you will know it's done when all the liquid uh, has disappeared. You see, it did not do it. So this was not right. Uh, as I told you, the first one is always a castaway. All right, let's try another one here. Now we have, uh, uh, we have uh, reduced the the, uh, cons uh, the viscosity of it or the thickness of it. Uh, you see, it's more liquidy now and it's doing 
wonderful. Okay, so the bubbles immediately start to appear. And if you've noticed, there are uh, smaller bubbles than the previous one we did. Okay, that means it should be very, very nice and thin. Okay, so we'll see about the other ones. On this one, you can, I could do about five or six at a time, so it's, it's fast. In a frying pan, you will do only one, but let's try one again. Uh, to be honest with you, I've never tried it on a ceramic pan. Now the size, you could make whatever size you like. Are you happy with a small size, big size, medium size? It's up to you, you can... Uh, uh, it's up to you to decide the size. You see, this is just absolutely beautiful. Okay, this is how it should be, guys. Um, I hope uh, it, it will work well on uh, the frying pan because most people have frying pan. I, I usually do it on a cast iron pan. Uh, let's, let me do uh, some small ones in case you want to do what we call a safiri. Okay. And a big one. Okay. So this is a beautiful Pattaya. This is as best as you can get. You don't get this at the market, by the way. It doesn't look like this. Okay. Uh, and we'll start stuffing them and then we will fry them together. Some people, by the way, don't like to fry them. They prefer to use the oven. Uh, they bake them, they said it's healthier. Um, but uh, I prefer the old fashioned way. Okay, this is. Okay, these are done. See, all the bubbles disappear, so I remove them. I mean, this is perfect pataya for you. Just waiting on the last uh, bubbles. Okay, I think we have enough here to, uh, to uh, uh, stuff them. I don't like the ones in this uh, um, ceramic pan. So if you can, invest in uh, one of these. You'll find them in a lot of the stores around. That's uh, about 20 or 30 dinars. Uh, like I said, it's a restaurant, uh, the ho home, uh, home appliance, not a restaurant. Okay, now, uh, we need to stuff them, okay? So I'll use uh, the earlier ones, earlier ones. Now, I told you don't stack them together, and of course I did that. All right, so you, you take a small spoon, this is a bit too much, and close the ends like so, okay, and voila, you've got a beautiful hatayef. Uh, let me just put them on a plate. Let's do another one. Okay. Man, they feel so nice. Uh, really very, very nice hatayev. Okay. This is the first one we did. By the way, you might like it uh, fleshier. You like more on the hatayev uh, skin. You know, if you like to go bite into it. Anyway, um, we'll do a couple more. <laughs> These are the beautiful Khataif uh, ones. Uh, I fill them with uh, uh, clotted creams, clotted cream, and 
uh, syrup on top, it's, they are very nice. Okay, they are eaten like so, uh, not, uh, not cooked. Okay, so we'll just finish this. Okay. All right, so we have four pieces and we are done. Now let's, uh, let's uh, fry them. Okay, let me get the uh, Maza oil here. Beautiful oil. And I'll clean up my area so I can work and we'll get back to you in two seconds. All right, so we are ready to uh, fry our khatayaf. Okay, uh, the temperature here, I got it hot. Now I need to reduce the temperature. Okay, let's let it go for, I want medium high. Okay, I, I don't want it very high. But anyway, we can always try, you know, always try. So you take one, put it, to, uh, while laying it toward the other side so you don't burn yourself, okay? So I'll let it uh, fry a little bit and it shouldn't take more than one, two minutes maximum on each side. Once it's done, we'll put it immediately in the syrup that we did earlier. The syrup should be cold, okay? Um, the colder the better. I don't usually put it in the fridge, but you can leave it outside, you know. Uh, it should be uh, cold, but because if it was hot, it would make it really soggy and not crispy. So let me see, it's still going. So, uh, bubbling away. You know, I honestly I've never used the ceramic, so I'm not uh, I'm not sure how good they are. This is my first experience with them. I always use uh, stainless steel uh, uh, pots and pans. Um, I I find, you know, I've been cooking with them for 40 some years, so I'm comfortable with them. Uh, ceramic is a new thing. I'm not. Uh, if you are happy with it, why not? Okay. All right, I think the temperature is fine, so I'll put the other ones. Again, um, you could mix your, uh, because a lot of people like, uh, like uh, cheese filling for it. <laughs> to be honest with you, I only like walnuts, but uh, that's not what I had. Uh, walnuts here today for but uh, I'm just letting you know it's uh, some people like and prefer cheese which is just fine okay uh, whatever makes them happy uh, so uh, just make the cheese filling the same as we did this one you will uh, you will uh, add the sugar cinnamon and rose water or blossom or both as you like Okay. Um, with the cheese, you don't actually need uh, to put uh, nutmeg. Okay. So, some people like them dark. Again, it's up to you. I prefer to have them um, uh, golden color. Um, they will still, uh, won't be overcooked, okay? But the color on these are absolutely magnificent. And the smell in the studio is just uh, wonderful. It's a wonderful Ramadan treat. I mean, you know, you cannot, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's funny about Khatayev, guys. You can make it any time of the year, but you don't like it. Only in Ramadan. Only in Ramadan, subhanAllah, I don't know. Uh, they are so good in Ramadan. Okay.
So I think they are ready. This is uh, my first one. You see how the color is? I don't know if the camera on top is getting it, but uh, they are just absolutely wonderful. Okay, uh, I have my syrup here. I'll just take it straight from the pan. I'll remove it off the heat and just dunk it in there. Okay. Okay. It's me doing things. All right. Uh, just roll it over. You will need uh, some nuts like powdered pistachio or something to uh, to decorate, if you have. Don't leave it sit there too long, okay? You just want the... Uh, if you have uh, any sort of nuts, uh, pistachio, you know, sprinkled pistachio on top would look be, it will really be wonderful. If I have some, I will do it now, but I'm, I'm not sure what we have here. Guys, it has been wonderful making this for you. Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak to all of you. And inshallah, you will make it, you will try it, and you will tell me how it was, and enjoy it. Until we meet, until we meet next time, I beg you peace. See ya. <laughs>